What up guys, it's Boss Jackal. So next um we're gonna be looking at these uh Cthulhu ish looking guys for the Tyranids. Um let's see if I have their index. Alright, so these guys have about like a movement of ten, so that's that's pretty good. I mean like the Terranid Prime, which I'm gonna be showing off in the in the next video, it's, it has like a movement at 12, so if Terranid Prime is better, his movement is better than these guys. But anyways, yeah, um, this is the leader, because he has like a horn sticking out of his head, while the other two, they don't have any horns. But yeah. This guy looks, uh, pretty cool, actually. I kind of like the the black it kind of really makes it look a bit more stealth like or something i think it looks neat now is yeah there's um this oh yeah these guys are all push fit oh my death guard units are they're the only ones that are not actually push fit but like tyranids uh, uh i mean like my termigates and the uh, Reaper Swarm and the these guys in the Ternic Prime, which I'll be showing in the next video, are all push fit, including the for the Space Marine, like the Infernus Marines, the Terminators, and the um, Terminator and Cap the Captain in Terminator armor. Then yeah, they're all push fit. So, everything in the starter set that I got are basically push fit. But anyways, yeah, here's this guy. Um, he's going more down, like, trying to sneak, looks like. Or something like that, yep. I painted these guys as thing black, but it looks like I forgot to paint his black. Oh, well. I'll probably grab a Sharpie or something. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I painted up the gaps in between there. And everything. The legs was probably a hard part because it was hard trying to not get the black onto the base. So, yeah. Now let's go for the next one. Or this. I think that looks pretty good. I uh, got a little bit of pink on there. So when it comes up to painting, it's uh, quite tricky. These guys look pretty nice. Uh, yeah, they're all in different poses. Seems like there's only three of them. It's not too hard for uh, Games Workshop to put a different pose on these guys. And uh, this guy is like sprinting. Got one foot up. This is uh, an attachment thing that you basically put on the base just to fill in that extra gap. And for this one, he's basically standing like on a on a rock or something. So yeah, it's something. Uh, this is also another attachment thing just to uh, cover up that hole on the base, but also give your models a scenery. I'm not sure if I put this guy on the right way. Pretty sure I did. Alright. But anyways, yeah. There's that. Uh, so this one is sprinting. Um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare these guys to my uh To my plague marines bug guy all right so that these guys are quite tall so let me let me get out typhus wonder if these guys are the exact same height no they are not i mean like almost this guy almost reaches him but Yeah, as you see, 
Typhus is still tall with that. He's still quite tall with that. Now that's a uh, pretty interesting. All right, but um, yeah. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and peace out. Also, I did their bases with clay. And then added a little bit of glue just to make it look a little bit more nasty and gory. But anyways, yeah. Like and subscribe and peace out.